It is Russ. I am on our trail that we typically go on, but I'm heading in the opposite direction. I went to see Donut Jim and his wife and did a delivery for him to the mailbox. <laughs> yeah, I went to the post office for him. Anyways, uh, I'm on my way back, so I figured, well, I take, uh, I'll take the trail heading in the opposite direction today and uh, see what it looks like on the, uh, on the GoPro. We usually go the other way. This time we're going back this way. So two days ago, I went to Morton Grove in the Botanic Gardens. I did not ride yesterday. And um, so it rained the last night, and I think it's gonna rain later today and it rain tomorrow too. And so I figure I better get out there before the rain hits, otherwise I'll be quite a few days without riding. I think what I need to do is on the days that I'm not riding, I gotta get back on that recumbent bike exercise bike just to keep my knees moving. But after a long ride um, to Morton Grove in the Botanic Gardens, I figured I'd take a day off. Even though I, I throttled quite a bit of that, that ride. I, uh, I did about, probably about 35% of pedaling, 65% of throttling on that one. Usually I try to do a 50-50. All right, let's go around the circle over here. Yeah, so I was taking it easy yesterday, but I also had uh, had a conference uh, call with um, one of my former uh, photography students. He's shooting a wedding today. He's one of the few uh, students that I have that uh, does professional photography as well. So I have a handful of students that that went pro, which is nice to hear. So that's the reason why I didn't uh, upload a video on Friday. And of course, by the time you guys see these videos now, because I'm doing the 4K thing, uh, when I mention dates, it seems kind of crazy because it's gonna be almost like a week before you actually see these videos. So I have to record these things way in advance get a stockpile of them together <laughs> and then upload them as I go and um, that's still kind of hard to get used to. I'm used to recording something and putting it up and even sometimes releasing it on that same day. I can't do that anymore because uh, the YouTube compression thing takes about a day. Yeah, it takes almost like 24 hours. Let's go this direction. Oh, they got, they got a baseball game going on. Can you guys see that? that? Little league or something? Pony leagues? So yeah, if you look in the skies, you can see it's dark. Um, it's definitely gonna rain <laughs> today and tomorrow. So yeah, I have to record these things way in advance. Um, so when I tell you a date, I, I have to remember you guys won't even see it for a, a week. And I usually release these videos about 7 a.m. in the morning. It's automatically generated for a scheduled release. The reason I do it for 7 a.m. is because I know some of, uh, some of the Russ is Right viewers get up early and, and they do watch it. And then later in the day, you know, the rest of you guys, you know, when you get back from work and things, will watch it because I'll, I'll see it in my... YouTube analytics will tell me roughly what times people watch videos. They got soccer going on here. Yeah, trying to angle my body a little bit there. Yeah, 
Yeah, this place is hopping. I, I don't think I usually see this area that busy, but you know, the time of days that I go, and of course during the weekday, you know, kids are at school, but you know, weekends, um, yeah, they're out doing their thing, and all these people are playing tennis, or uh, some type of, what do they call that? Some type of paddle ball thing. What's that called? Is that pickleball? Is that what they call that? I don't know what that's called. I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I just remember hearing the term. Yeah, I'm a little ignorant when it comes to uh, that type of stuff. I remember playing tennis though. I, I used to play tennis. Um, I remember taking it in high school. And um, then college years, I played a little bit of tennis, but then that was about it. Interesting thing with tennis, I was only good for one season. And that was the first year that I actually learned to play tennis. And then after that, I just went downhill. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Didn't do too well after that. So yeah, going around this circular path here, um, it's pretty quick. It's, it's not that large. It's not like the three mile circle that we usually do. I was debating whether I wanted to go do that today or not, but I, I don't think so. I've done it so much that I think I'll pass on it. I figured I'd do, do this, go around, uh, I'll go around twice. That'll give me something to do. <laughs> Yeah, it just goes around this park. This park they have, uh, apparently they have, you know, baseball field and they have several uh, soccer, soccer goals that are up. Anyways, I had a chance to take a look at the footage that I recorded uh, at the Botanic Gardens. Well, I should say on the north, uh, what's it called? North, North Shore Trail? I no, <laughs> can't remember what they call it. Um, I took a look at the footage and yeah, it looked pretty good. I, I was impressed. but. There's still artifacts that happen even with the uh, 4K upload. Um, usually where you see it is, if you take a look at where my handlebars are, usually right on the bottom here, you'll see the artifacts happening. I was talking to Donut Jim and he said he saw, he saw the same thing. And those are things I can't, I, I have no control over. It's just uh, the compression does that to the video. But if you watch everything above it, it, it looks clean when I do it in 4K. But just uh, suffice to know that um, the original footage doesn't have all those artifacts so so yeah I can't I can't blame the GoPro for it I can't blame anything it's it's basically all the YouTube compression that affects it it is what it is you know at, at least uh, we're able to upload things to, to show other people it doesn't cost me any money <laughs> to do it YouTube gives me a few dollars from the advertisements that, that run um, before and after the videos so um, yeah, I'm, uh, I've got to be happy with that. So so today the uh, the weather is pretty decent. It it rained I think last night a little bit, and uh, when I left the house, it was about. 70 degrees? What time is it right now? 9.32 right now on a Saturday. But yeah, I think it was around 70 degrees. You know, that is the perfect weather. Is if you hit exactly 70 degrees 
that's the biking weather because it's nice and cool I'm, I'm still out with uh, shorts and a short sleeve shirt I have my uh, safety vest on of course look at this uh, somebody got TP'd <laughs> that only happened to us once uh, my daughter was part of um, part of the um, Orcasus team for high school that's dance and um, she was in cheerleading before too, but not, not in the high school level. But in junior high level and stuff, she was in cheerleading. But um, yeah, they rang our doorbell and ran. We came out and we saw all the to toilet paper up on our uh, trees. We got it all down too. It didn't last long. I think uh, their efforts, it was all gone by uh, within a half hour. <laughs> we got rid of everything before things got stuck too, too hard to get it down then. Well, yeah, it's a good day right now. It'll rain later, but it's a good day right now. So right in front of the uh, the three mile uh, circular uh, path that we usually take, they still have it all roped off and everything. They have not fixed the uh, the entrance there. They they tore it apart and uh, supposedly fixing curbs and stuff like that. But they never they never they never fixed it. So all this whole time, in order to get there. I ride about five miles out of the way <laughs> just to get onto that path. Whereas, um, you know, if that if that was open, it would be a lot less of a ride to get there. But it's okay though. Like I said, it's 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 like going through the forest preserves and stuff, so it still gives you uh, ride time. But yeah, they should fix that. I don't know why it takes so long sometimes. I mean, I know they got schedules and things, but. Makes you wonder. Yeah, my stops have uh, have happened, but they're usually rolling stops now. I don't uh, I don't stop to the point where I have to jump off the bike and then jump back on the bike again. It's, it's just a little too much. But I, I would say I stopped significantly enough so that if something were to happen, I would be able to stop fully, of course. Still, to the letter of the law, yeah, I think you're supposed to do a full three second stop, even for bikes. Notice too, a lot of people have Halloween things out already. You know, Halloween's at the end of the month, but um, yeah, they put them up so they have it out. Um, e even like pumpkins were available last month already. You go to Costco, you can see all the pumpkins. Costco has some pretty big pumpkins, I have to say. I, I was looking at the, uh, the supply of uh, pumpkins that they had there, and I said, wow, that's, these are huge. Oh, if you did see the Botanic Gardens video, when I was at the gardens, you might have noticed uh, some guy yelled out, I like your horse. <laughs> I didn't notice that uh, until after he passed. I mean, we were riding in opposite directions, so I couldn't really react to him. But that's what the guy said, I like your horse. <laughs> The other guy who was actually in the uh, the boat, 
he was churning up stuff. I think his the front end of that boat grabs maybe uh, seaweed or something. I don't know what it's grabbing, and it pulls it up onto the uh, onto the uh, the boat. And then the, the little paddle things he had on either side propels him. And so depending on whether he moves it to, you know, uh, in a clockwise direction or a counterclockwise direction, will turn the boat for him too. Anyways, he, he said that, he says, I don't, I don't see you pedaling a whole lot. <laughs> I told him I was uh, taking it easy. <laughs> Yeah, people usually react to the bike. I don't think uh, I don't think I can ride down the road without somebody staring at me because I'm quite a sight. You got this big heavy guy and this big heavy bike. <laughs> then they wonder how could this guy move, and then I blow him away from how fast I'm able to go. Good morning. I think it usually surprises people, but the, yeah, the bike is the bike is pretty big. Now I could have gotten a smaller bike. Um, Donut Jim has a foldable bike. And those are pretty cool because you can fold them up and put them in your car if you had to. Um, but I, I opted for this Rad Rover Five because I wanted a full size regular bike. Uh, the drawback is. I can't transport it easily. I mean, you definitely need a bike rack, but I, as I told you guys, that's not in my future. I, um, I will be riding this bike wherever I want to go. And that's fine uh, for anything that's roughly around this general area. But um, But I would say if I had to go further than 25 miles away or more yeah you're, you're gonna need the rack I, I can ride the 25 miles distance I mean I do I do that just going to Morton Grove area is 20 miles and then I ride two botanic gardens that's probably another 10 miles or so something like that so I have a range right now based based on the fact. I'm okay. Let's let's say this: if I was pedaling the entire time, doing a power assist pedal assist level two, I probably have about a hundred mile range on my on my bike now with the two batteries. But realistically, I don't ride that way. I ride usually at level three. I don't pedal the entire way. I, I pedal and I throttle, probably about 50-50, although the, the Botanic Gardens ride was probably 65-35. But I try for a 50-50 uh, split. And so for that, I would say I easily have 70 to 80 miles, easily. I think if I were to throttle the entire way, I probably got 60 miles easy between the two batteries. I mean, like not even pedal at all <laughs> between the two batteries. So I could, could I do the Botanic Gardens and never pedal at all? And the answer would be yes, I could do it. I'd have to swap the batteries out halfway through, but I could do it. But that that would be just plain lazy <laughs> if you didn't at least pedal some of it. I mean, okay, like if you had major problems and you bought a bike, you wanted to get out and you know that you can't even pedal, you, you could theoretically just throttle these bikes the entire time. But if you do that, just know that, you know, you need a big battery to get places then. Which is one of the good things about having the uh, high step version of the Rad Rover. Because that little triangle allows me to stick the battery in there and strap it down. And then the rear rack that I have, I strap down a second triangle battery. I don't swap the batteries out in the sense of, you know, physically moving them. I've got 
cabling, so I just disconnect one battery, reconnect the other battery, and, and that's how I do it. So it's, it's easy enough to do. It literally takes me less than 30 seconds <laughs> to swap out the battery cable. You know, people sometimes do these things in parallel, but that's that's a lot of work. You've got to make sure that the uh, both batteries are charged to the to the same uh, potential. If you're running them in parallel, that's that's hard to to maintain that. And then when you charge it, you got to charge both batteries and all that. So. Doing it uh, separately, when one battery exhausts, you disconnect it, takes you 30 seconds. <laughs> you plug in the other battery. I think that's good enough. I think that's, that's perfectly fine. So where are we at now? We're at 2,426 miles. That's quite a bit. I would say we will definitely hit 3,000 miles by the end of the season. Maybe a little more, but we, I think we will break 3,000. Now, the only way we would not break 3,000 is if the weather starts getting bad going forward. In that case, um, maybe 2,700. <laughs> I mean, really, if you look at it, uh, this week coming up, I don't know what the weather will be like, but this week we should be at 2,500 at least. I mean, you're talking only less than 80 miles, and we'll be at 2,500. 2, so yeah, I, I would say realistically 3,000 miles this season at least. That's a good goal. Now, of course, 3,000 miles doesn't mean I pedaled 3,000 miles. Because you, you split it between throttling and pedaling. But sheer traveling, 3,000 miles is 3,000 miles of traveling. I mean, that would be crossing the country. <laughs> of course, then again, um, that, that would be from April through to the end of the season, whatever that end of season tends to be for me. Anyways, <laughs> things to think about. I appreciate your uh, coming along with me. Here's the fire truck here. We'll watch this first here. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, let's grow the channel, <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys next time.